Hey y'all, thanks for checking out Equal Mining. Today I'm going to talk to you about rejected and invalid shares. Also going to talk about stale shares. What's the difference and how do you fix it? So first let's talk about rejected or invalid shares, okay? This is a share that's submitted to the pool, but it's been miscalculated when you submitted it. So most likely it's going to be overclocking. You could have software, an issue with your software, your mining software that you're using. And if you're not using a specific version that you really want to be using, I would go ahead and update your software for starters. Let your miner run for a while, see if you're still getting that. If you are, then I would start working on your overclocks. Um, let's hop over here really quick and uh, I'm going to show you one that I just got on mine. It's an invalid share. So again, uh, when I saw that, I I know, I know because I'm looking at this card, it's overclocked a little bit more than it probably should be. And it's most likely going to be that. I do use Hive for my mining, so it does always keep the latest version um, running on, uh, on Hive for what I'm using. Uh, for this one, I believe I'm using uh, Team Red Miner. So I am using the most current version, so I can kind of rule that out. If you're using Windows, you wanna go ahead and just download the latest version and update that. Uh, then when you've updated that, if you're still getting it, then it's gonna be overclocking. You're gonna to wanna to lower your overclocks down if it's on one card or, or, or several cards. Target that card, lower it down a little bit, let the rig run, you know, reboot it, let it run, see if you're still getting those uh, invalid or rejected shares. And it's really going to be playing with your overclock settings. There's, there's not a whole lot more to get into it with that. You could have a faulty GPU. It depends on how old the GPU is also, but if it, it's, typically it's not that. It's mostly going to be your software that you're using and your overclock settings. So uh, you're going to want to work on those too. Now, for a stale share, a stale share is a block that your GPU is calculating, but it's already been solved. So it's uh, the pool sends you something to calculate uh, and then send it back, except uh, your, your latency between uh, your connection speed between you and the pool is slower than the other guy. And the other guy solved it and you're not going to get the credit for that and you're not being paid. So you don't want to have that as well. You want to make sure that your connection to the pool is as tight as it can. And uh, this is for anything that you're getting for your stale shares. So uh, uh, something that I saw uh, on two miners that they offer is uh, a ping software that they put out. And I'm just going to scroll down. In this article, it talks about, you know, what is the ping to the mining pool? It goes into what you're doing, how it happens, uh, and why you should uh, always try to solve that. I'm going to scroll down here a little bit. And as you can see, they do have it. It's available right here. Uh, you can download it from GitHub. And um, here it is right here. There's a link right here for it. So you click on that and scroll down and then download the appropriate one for whatever you're using. I'm using Windows. I've already downloaded this. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, open this up. And I got it right here. So this is the download once you open it up. And it's got the two ones that you can use that they give you uh, to uh, ping two miners and Ethermine. I went ahead and I set one up with some other pools just so I can run them all at the same time and see uh, which one gives me the best ping. Uh, you want the lowest number possible. Of course, you'd rather not be using uh, Wi-Fi on your uh, mining rig. You're not going to get as strong of a signal as if it's hardwired. That's pretty, you know, common sense for that. But in some situations, like mine, I don't have a physical uh, connection in here. I do use the uh, the Eros for my um, uh, my Wi-Fi here. It has an amazing connection with it. So I do have Wi-Fi in here that I'm using. Unfortunately, uh, I haven't um, had somebody come out and put a hard wire in this room. It is on my uh, to-do list, but it's not there yet. So I'm using Wi-Fi. So what you'll see with mine is from Wi-Fi. So what I did was I made a new one. Excuse me, I just had some pancakes. And I put it right here. Now, I will put in the uh, description below, I will put uh, this in there so you can copy paste it and put it in yours. Excuse me. All you have to do is right click on one of these and click edit. It'll come up and it'll show you right here that that's the one it's going to ping. And if we look at the one that I made up and I go to edit, 
I've got several of them in here. These are pools that are uh, kind of the most common. Some uh, you may or may not use. Uh, Ethermine, uh, F2 pool, two miners, pool in, and hive on pool. So these are, these are pretty common ones. So all you have to do if you wanted to add more in here is just uh, hit return. You do have to have the stratum uh, dash ping.exe, then space, and then whatever the pool is that you'd put into your miner, you just paste it right here. And then that will, uh, that will do that. So I'm not going to save that, but I will run this. So let me go ahead and fire that up. Uh, I'm going to drag it over for you. Here it is here. And now it's going to run through the entire list of all of them. If I did them individually, I would have to remember what each one was. Here, now I can just scroll up and down and see it. And while this is running, it's a perfect opportunity for you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I always appreciate that. And if this video helped, I would appreciate some thumbs up. You know, that really helps the channel out a lot more than you know. So uh, always love those thumbs up. Now, as far as it goes in the comment section below, I would love to see what you're doing. I'm on Wi-Fi. Hey, that's just where I'm at. Are you Wi-Fi? Are you hardwired? What numbers are you getting? What pool gives you the best response time? Uh, I would love to give this to our community and let them see what other people are getting to help them judge how they're running at their end. It really helps other people. So um, please, comments down below. And if you have any questions, drop them down below also. I'll try to get back to you. And if you have any trouble, we'll try to fix it. So here we are right here. And at the very bottom one, we'll start there. We're using Hive on Pool on this one. And Hive on Pool is a slow motion train wreck. Um, I use Hive on uh, or Hive OS for my mining software, but I will probably not be using Hive on Pool. If I scroll up a little more, pool in. Wow, this one is 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 terrible across the board. Um, Jesus, that's terrible. Let's go ahead and run that one more time. <laughs> that's a really bad connection. Uh, let me drag that back over and run this one. I ran this a couple times and I was getting some pretty good ones. Of course, for the video, I'm getting miserable. Uh, so. That's no good. Uh, we'll start at the top really quick because that's where we're at. Ethermine is getting me 56. And then for F2 pool, I'm getting 340. The middle number is the one you want to go for. It's your average. Here's two miners at 49. Not very good. Pool in, I'm getting 44. A little bit better. And then, of course, high on pool, uh, the middle number you go by is disastrous. Typically, I get my uh, two miners running at around 40, and uh, that's for the millisecond. And uh, pool in, I typically get about the same. So I've been sticking with them. Uh, two miners has been good to me. So I use them, again, no affiliation, but I use them um, with this that I've been running this several times that I've been watching this. Pool in has been getting me a better response time. And, you know, you might say, but that's such a, a, a small amount, you know, it may only be one or two milliseconds different. But when you're talking about thousands and thousands and thousands of shares that you're calculating and then resubmitting, if you are off by a millisecond, the guy next to you is going to get it first and he's going to get the reward, the money. You want to get that money. You need a fast connection. I do need to get hardwired in here. During COVID, it's been hard to get anybody out to do any work. Um, so I haven't gotten that done yet. This is what I'm forced to do. Again, I will have a link uh, or up above for the video that I'm uh, using for my Wi-Fi in the house. And I've had pretty good results with it. I'm going to hit that one more time. If you don't want to watch this one, you can go ahead and check out now. But don't forget, thumbs up on this video. All right, let this run one more time. Let's see if we can get any better. 130, 81. Here's two miners. Uh, 47 again. I usually get down around 41, 42 for two miners. And then I hit around 40 or 41 uh, ish for the uh, pool in. And again, pool in is leading the, uh, the race here. And Hive On is still disappointing. Uh, I may look into pool in and change over because it really does make a difference when you're calculating this out over the course of days, weeks, months, and years. You're looking at a big difference and that adds up. Um, so I would definitely try to find the best pool with the best response. Like I said, you can add more into this. It's pretty easy. Whatever the pool is that you're going to be adding for uh, your mining rig, all you do is uh, just, again, do I say this already? But if I hadn't, just go ahead and put this part in right here. Click space. 
and then go ahead and put the pool in. That's it. Click save, let it run. Um, it's as simple as that. So again, if the video helped, at least give me one of those. If you like these or my pretty face, you can go ahead and subscribe and watch a whole bunch of these videos. I appreciate you checking in. I'll see y'all next time.